do do do. Okay, test. Hi. Okay. Well, I finally got a hold of some VHS tapes at a Goodwill outlet store. I didn't know we had any of those Goodwill outlet stores around here. I thought that they were all in Portland, but no, they've, they've got one here. It's been here for about four years, and I didn't know about it. And they usually nickname those stores the bins because they're bins filled with mostly unsorted stuff, um, oftentimes being stuff that they would never be selling at the actual store because they figure no one's going to want it. Um, and so I got eight uh, VHS tapes that were not the original, you know, the original, originally recorded on their stuff that were originally blank tapes and people recorded stuff on them. And so I found this one that was kind of fruitful and has the Arsenio Hall show on it, or parts of, of the show anyway, of one episode. And I was noting how, how many things actually do have, actually were in 60 frames a second. But we just, people just didn't pay attention to it that much. Um, I didn't realize how much uh, stuff was in 60 frames a second. I knew there was a lot, but not quite as much. And some people will say there's no such thing as 60 frames a second on, on uh, you know, NTSC uh, uh, CRT television. And it's like, well, well yeah, there are. It, 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 you know, it's, it uses interlays, lines 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. That, that, uh, that is drawn on the screen. Uh, can be one frame, and then two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. can be another frame. Now, a lot of people already know this, but there's some people who just kind of get into this mode of. I mean, they're the same people who say that we can't tell the difference between 30 and 60 frames a second. That our eyes, you know, we just can't see it. Well, yeah, yeah, you're full of shit, you know. <laughs> and there's a lot of there's a lot of data to prove you wrong, and there's a lot of testimonials to prove you wrong, and people that can point this stuff out immediately, and gamers, and all of that. You know, there's a big difference between 30 and 60 as far as what we can perceive about it. And we can perceive even beyond the 60. So maybe not, you know, the, now the how far beyond 60 is, is what to me would be debatable. So here is a, are some clips from the Arsenio Hall show, the, 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 the intro to it. And I'm noting that, um, you know, there's some parts that are just kind of standard to go, uh, uh, let, let me let me make sure you can hear the sound so you can hear when I'm clipping from. Uh, okay, there we go. Now you can hear when I'm um, your when the, each frame goes because it's part of the sound. You can go frame by frame, and uh, you can see that it goes. No, n it's not moving, moving, not moving, moving, not moving, moving, not moving. Which means that's at 30 right now, right? But here it's 60 frame 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 frame. It's it's uh And then there's something really weird that comes up next and I, I just found it fascinating how they could make something stand out more by uh, By doing this uh, Okay, this this light blob thing this blob of light Animates now it's the buildings now. It's the blob buildings blob buildings blob buildings blob buildings and what what doing that would do is make the blob stand out that much more from the buildings and just kind of do this extra little pizzazz on the screen. And and it doesn't matter if it makes it look fake because it's obviously it's it's obviously all artwork, so it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't ruin ruin anything and it just makes it stand out more. And I just thought that was I thought that was fascinating. I, I don't imagine that was done on accident. Right? So Anyway, I just thought it was fascinating.